Actress Rachel Zegler has been a complete disaster for this live action Snow White. And right now, Disney is in damage control trying to correct course, but maybe the damage is too severe for them to actually get going. So right now, you even have this article from Slate of all places pointing out the fact that people pretty much of all walks of life don't like this new Snow White, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that Rachel Zegler basically hates the original movie. Now, say what you want about the original movie, but it's still a beloved classic with a huge audience to it. I mean, it's more or less the movie that built Disney. I mean, if this movie didn't succeed, Walt Disney would have basically been done at Disney as we know it, but instead it succeeded, and now it built this huge empire of entertainment, and she basically comes out and things like, oh, well, we can do better. That's a 37 movie. It came out in 85 years years ago i mean it's very old sensibilities we can do better we're going to modernize it it's like first of all what you say are old sensibilities are basically timeless sensibilities that everyone can relate to and they're trying to inject modern politics into it because that's all these lazy writers know who are obviously afraid of being replaced by glorified search engines because apparently that's the talent that they bring to the table on this one but I mean, disney did have a tough time with this because apparently peter dinklage got upset that other dwarf actors were getting work so he more or less wanted to shut the door on them and say like no you can't cast dwarf actors and i mean they got one for this so yeah i guess they squeaked that one through but for the most part having these early set photos release of the movie just kind of painted disney in the wrong light just from the get-go because it was so bad that disney even tried to lie and say these aren't our photos and then they tried to lazily backpedal when they were called out rightfully and say like, okay, they were, they just weren't official set photos. I mean, give me a break with that. I mean, you know what you were saying when you said like, those aren't our photos. It's like, yeah, we, we know you didn't take these photos. They were said they were uh, leaked photos and discreet photos. They were obviously shot by paparazzi. So don't try to play that. Like, oh, we didn't, we didn't know that that's what you were talking about when you said, are these your photos? We thought it meant like these were our official photos. It's like, yeah, right. Well, you know what you're doing. And the fact is, Disney is embarrassed with this movie. And I don't know why they even greenlit it to begin with or why they even made these choices in the matter. But they still did. And anyway, I mean, just looking at this right from the get-go, I mean, already making a live-action remake is kind of a hard battle to fight in this. Because, yeah, I mean, some of them can actually be decent for the most part. But really when you're making a live action remake of a beloved classic i mean it at first it seemed like a novel idea and stuff like that but then over time we just saw like oh disney is just creatively bankrupt i mean because before when they made a live action reimagining of it it's like okay you want to have a different interpretation of it and you need to see the live action version to kind of tell it differently fair enough but instead what it was is like okay we're just going to try to just do a shot for shot remake of it but with live action and just basically diminish everything that made the original one good and there's a lot of other videos online that are talking about why these live action ones don't work so you can check on many of those but for the most part yeah people just didn't like what they were doing with this and right now they're more or less resorting to the lazy well we'll just race swap stuff so if people are complaining about it we'll just call them races but that really doesn't work with this situation when you get the main actress of it who's basically supposed to be your shield also basically bashing your property right now because right now Disney is in a PR nightmare because Rachel Zegler's own comments of the original movie now like I said you can criticize the idea of a making a live action one right there but at the most part for other movies like let's say the little mermaid Halle bailey the actress who played ariel seemed to actually enjoy the original movie and was talking about how it's a big part of her childhood growing up and stuff like that so fair enough she actually had reverence to the original but rachel zegler apparently come out and said like she actually hates the original uh so her comments about the upcoming live action remake could have a huge impact on ticket sales. Branding experts have warned the 22 year old actress has received plenty of backlash after she admitted that she hated the original 1937 movie and branded the storyline weird while referring to the prince character as a stalker. First of all, he's not a stalker, but anyone who's actually seen the movie knows that, but she wouldn't know that because she said she saw it once when she was a kid and was too afraid of it or something like that. So she doesn't even remember it. Uh, the big budget Disney movie is scheduled for release in March of 2024, and now it has been predicted that executives will be having crisis talks in order to do some serious damage limitations following the negative response to Rachel Zegler sense. Yeah, and that's the whole point of this is like she was supposed to be their shield. Like, hey, if, anytime people criticize this movie, we were supposed to prop you up and be like, oh, you're racist if you hate this movie because she's in it. And now people are like, yeah, but we don't like her attitude. It's like, and no one can deny what's happening anymore. And that's why you're getting articles like from Slate here, which is even saying like it's labeling people who don't like it as conservative, which I think is 
a kind of a oh i don't get it but whatever but yeah now you get everyone more or less criticizing this movie because of her specifically and what are they going to do she's the face of the movie i mean usually you have the stars have to market it and stump for it when the press tour comes around but i'm mean, more or less they're trying to think about ways of how do we keep her out of the spotlight because no one apparently likes her and maybe they could try to like talk with her and make her uh, more or less clarify statements and that's what it talks about in this article she can clarify what she's meant by her previous comments and more or less try to backpedal on this but maybe the damage is too done um, i think there's some people who want to like this movie who will actually come back to it but for the most part i think this is dead on arrival and the best hope that they can have to at least salvage some money from this is just dump it onto their disney plus platform like they've shown that they're willing to do with other big budget live action reimaginings i mean even man this was oh this was zemeckis i'm sorry off topic here but yeah they can just just dump it onto their disney plus platform it costs them a lot less money than if they were to try to put it out in theaters and market it and other things like that and i think right now this is one of those movies that they just have to cut their losses with because the damage has already been done with this but let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below and if you like this video make sure you click the like button and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news thank you